Hello, this is Peter with another video. Today I'm just going to do an update on all my loquat or loquat trees. So yeah, I'll start off with my uh, Mrs. Cookson loquats. These are grafted um, varieties um, I was able to obtain. Um, and this one is the one I've had the longest. You can see um, it did put out a flush of growth. All these leaves at the top here were um, new this year. Um, and then it has just pushed out a little bit more um, new growth. There's also some buds um, starting to swell in the in the centre there. Um, now this actual plant, I was never too happy with the the graft on this one. If you uh, have a look at the, it's quite a, a messy um, graft on this one. I do have some um, protection or wound sealing paint which I might apply um, to this area here because I'm a bit worried that pests might cause damage and get into the into the stem there. This side's okay. Um, but yeah, this side here there is a bit of a cavity in there. Also, wasn't very happy with the way the graft um, the grafted section comes off at an angle like this. So if you have a look at the side here, it's such a, a strange looking shape. Um, but yeah, there's not much I can really do about that. Um, but I did get a second plant. I wanted another um, low quart tree. Um, and this one is the same variety, um, which I showed um, a couple of times already, but this one came um, much bigger than the other one when I got it and it already had a couple of side branches on it so there's one side branch here um, and there's a few at the top as well so there's about three side branches on this top section as well and um, all these are new leaves at the top um, and again we're getting some more um, bud swelling in all of these um, different growing points here um, so it looks like it's going to put out another um, spurt of growth and they do seem to grow in uh, growth spurts like this um, and this one is a better graft union it's a much straighter um, stem although there is a little bit of damage lower down which I might protect with a bit of um, wound sealer as well I have seen some insects getting into some of the holes on this um, rootstock, which is a, um, a quince rootstock. Um, but yeah, overall, it um, seems to be doing quite well this year. Um, I did repot these earlier, I think it was earlier this year. Um, pretty sure it was this year anyway, probably in spring. Um, so yeah, they should do quite well, hopefully, over the winter. So here is a quite a sad looking um, loquat that I got from Jurassic Plants the other year. Um, this was a tiny little seedling when I got it. Um, it has been thickening up, uh, but it's been very slow this year. Um, I did take the growing tip off the uh, top here a few months back. And it looks like it's just starting to get another um, bud here. I was hoping it would encourage it to uh, produce some side shoots um, but it doesn't seem to be doing that. It seems to just want to focus on developing a new um, bud on the top. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to let it do its thing if it wants to keep on growing up. I'm not going to stop it. I would prefer if it did branch out but yeah I'm just going to leave it to do its thing I think. I do also have another couple of seedlings that I got from Jurassic Plants as well. I think I got these last year as well. Um, I think the first one I got was the year before. This, these ones I think I got last year. Um, and they've been growing um, quite well this year, but again, they, they do seem to be quite slow and then they'll just get a little spurt of growth, maybe once or twice a year. Um, I'll show you my other uh, grafted loquats that I grafted myself. So yeah, over here we have um, two loquats that I grafted 
Um, now these are a Turkish variety, apparently. Um, I got them from a seller online who um, told me the variety name, um, but the name was a Turkish um, in Turkish, so I don't um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but I will put it on the screen. Um, so I'm just going to refer to these as my Turkish loquats. Um, and yeah, I did graft these, um, which I've shown in another video, um, onto a quince rootstock. Um, and the grafting tapes actually started to peel off, so I removed it earlier today on this one. Let's have a closer look at the union on, on this one here. Okay, so um, hopefully that's in focus. Camera doesn't really like focusing on small stems, but you can see on this side has um, formed a nice union. Um, looks like the other side hasn't healed as well, uh, but I don't think that really matters. Um, as long as it's taken on one side, it should be okay. But yeah, it has been pushing out some new growth on this one. Um, and this second one here, which is the same variety, has um, got two side shoots now. Um, now, I also grafted a few Asian pears um, at the same time as the loquats, but all of the Asian pears have been struggling. In fact, most of the signs have not taken and have even not died off or um, have fallen out. This is the last one, I think, now, and I don't think it's going to take. I think it's failed. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to allow the rootstocks to take over and I'm going to use them for grafting loquats on in the future if I can get hold of any other scions um, online um, and yeah I'll try and graft some other varieties in the future. I think it's best to get um, a couple of varieties for cross-pollination. So I'll also show some other loquat seedlings I've got um, which I planted not too long ago. Down here in this shady corner of my garden I have a bunch of uh, seedlings that I planted um, and did I I've not got the label on that one you can see there's about four coming up in this pot um, another five is it yeah about five in that one and then in this tray here which I didn't completely fill up um, I have a bunch in here, pretty much every single one has germinated, maybe one or two that haven't, but yeah it looks like most have germinated, um, and I planted them in May, um, it took a while to um, to get growing, um, I had them in the greenhouse for a bit, but decided to move them out um, because they kept drying out and they didn't seem to be grow um, germinating in there, so yeah put them out on the into the open and they seem to grow much better. I might take these out soon and plant them in their own containers. To be honest I don't really know what I'm going to do with them all because I didn't expect them all to germinate so easily. And yeah I don't know if I'm going to use them for rootstocks as I would prefer to use quince um, as the rootstock because that's what um, they seem to do for commercial reasons in at least in Europe. Um, it seems to perform better and I think it also dwarfs the plant as well. Um, but yeah, that's uh, an update on all the loquats that I've got. Um, and yeah, I don't know how long it'll take these to get to a fruiting size. I'm guessing this one is going to mature quicker. It's already quite a big one compared to the other um, Mrs. Cookson that I've got here. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I do future updates. And I'll be sure to um, do further updates on these loquats um, as well as all my other plants. I'm sure there'll be more growth coming out soon of these on these um, plants, so I'll definitely do an update later in the season. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.